absence of that, I don't know how you ever get over in this business. I don't know as an actor how you make it to the top today, how you make it to the middle, how you make it to the lower national without somebody in your corner helping you. And I had banged on a lot of doors. And when that, you know, when the boss came into my life, it, it, it got different, you know. And after I'd been working for Aaron two years, I'd go back to the offices of people I've been through before. Well, this time I was Mr. Perry, you know, because they, they knew who I rolled with. And, um, he, was, he, he gave me tons of opportunity. He let me make a lot of mistakes that a lot of other people wouldn't. And Aaron, he handed me the ball, man. He said, look, you're not really supposed to be the star of this show. You're just a good, you know, I like what you're doing. Here's the ball. Run with it. Nobody does that. They're all afraid. Aaron wasn't afraid. You know? The network said, well, we don't have a contract with that kid. He said, make one. <laughs> they said, we don't want to. He said, fine, I got more money than you do. I'll pay you. My, my first 10 paychecks were personal handwritten checks from Aaron's phone. Wow. I still have the stuff. You kidding me? It's awesome. You know, that ain't coming around again. The network didn't want me on the show. Wow. And Aaron said, I think I won. And, um, you know, historically, he's done a lot better than they have. <laughs> um, you know, that network's been in business a long time. They still haven't made as much money as the old man. But more to the point, they haven't brought us memories like he brought us with Charlie's Angels and Fantasy Island yeah. and the Rookies. Charlie's Angels, did I mention that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't have grown up without his show. So it had always been a real goal of mine to work for Aaron. I can't say, you know, I ended up working with him, and we figured out a lot of it together. I always wanted to work for him. And um, it, it was just great. It, it was just great. And uh, I, I'm so happy that, um, that, that, that Aaron was the guy that made it happen for me. Because I'll always have the things he taught me. I'm not afraid now. When I go into these meetings and networks, I'm not seen behind the curtain. I know what goes on back there. And Aaron knows that's a dangerous piece of knowledge for an actor to have. They like us to stay in the dark. They don't like to understand how every single aspect of it works. He forced me to understand how every single aspect of this business works. I've been afforded an education by him that most people just won't give you because their job security depends on you not knowing. Right. His job security depended on he had 30 years of television behind him. So he didn't shake me down in any, in any way. He just treated me with respect from day one. So I treated him with respect back. And that, and that was the nature of our relationship, and I, and, and I love that too. And here's to you, bro. <laughs> Piggybacking on rodeos, guys, for about a year and a half, I'd ride, and sometimes I'd watch, sometimes I'd get on. Uh, one day I got stomped on, and then had to go to work the next day, and you know, in Beverly Hills, they were going, why do you got hook marks up your back? <laughs> <laughs> I had a little problem. <laughs> and, um, you know, so I couldn't really do it as much as I wanted to, but I did learn to ride it. Uh, I've been on over 30 in my lifetime. I rode eight of them in the movie. Those are the ones I can say for absolute sure. I rode eight of them in the picture, and I've been on about 30. What was the other one? What was your other question? Favorite actor. Favorite actor. Favorite actor. Oh, favorite movie. Favorite oh, movie. he has down Paul Newman. When I was, yeah, Paul Newman. I mean, you've all read that because I've said it a million times. When, when I was a kid growing up, you know, we come from Ohio, where Paul came from, where I come from. He's the high water mark, you know, and, and in Hollywood, in a lot of ways, Paul Newman is the bar. Um, his work was second to none. Uh, his contributions to the world through his charities and his food. I mean, we all know what a heart he had, second to none. He was the best looking man that ever walked in front of me. True. No, no, not since him, not anybody. Nobody ever looked as good as Paul. And my mom. <laughs> uh, in a lot of places, you go in people's homes and they have a, they'll have a picture of a religious figure or somebody. That, no, it was Paul Newman in my house. <laughs> And it was, my mom had a very prominently placed photo of Paul Newman. Who's that, mom? Oh, that's Paul Newman. Oh, he's, he's, oh my God. And she didn't finish the sentence. <laughs> you know, when I was a teenager, I worked in Ohio at a department store. And, and Paul came through there. He was directing a play at Kenyon College, which was his alma mater. And I was up front, and I... Uh, 
they had asked me to come and help them bag stuff. And I was helping this lady bag stuff, and I didn't even notice that it was Paul. And I kind of had him. I was just buying some stuff to get out of the thing. And uh, she rung it up, and he looks up to see how much it is on the thing, and he pulls his sunglasses down. And I heard her go, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 